pray, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akakwadash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who I learned is true from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. And today I just want to go into, you know, this picture I came across on YouTube that one of the brothers had posted a picture of. And the caption reads, you were never sick, you were poisoned. And then, you know, each of the different, you know, diseases, you know, listed are all U.S. patents, you know. And this is a real thing. But I'm just going to focus at the one at the very bottom, you know, the C-virus. So Lord willing, this lesson is at a find it straight to the point. So first, I'm going to look up the definition of pestilence. Pestilence. And this is a fatal epidemic disease, especially bubonic plague. And then I did the research, you know, I typed this in Google, you know, this particular patent. And the patent for the C-virus is U.S. patent. One zero one three zero seven zero one, and this is the present invention provides a life and attenuated coronavirus compromising a variant replicates gene encoding polyproteins compromising a mutation in one or more of non-structural protein or proteins NSP10, NSP14, NSP15, or NSP16. The coronavirus may be used as a vaccine for treating and or preventing a disease such as infectious bronchitis in this subject. And then this right here is pretty much what I just read at the top. So I'm going to jump down to this. And it says the C virus, according to claim one, wherein the variant replicates gene and codes a protein compromising one of one or more amino acid mutations selected from an amino acid mutation of LU to IO at the position corresponding to the position 183 of SEQ ID number 8 and amino acid mutations of FAL to IO at position corresponding to position 209 of SEQ ID number nine, you know, and it is basically going into, you know, what exactly it is. So again, these are the different patents. It's like it says, you know, we were never sick, we were poisoned because these particular, you know, diseases or pestilences, you know, that were released, you know, claim that people were sick because you know I caught you know the the thing you know and I didn't get the, the jump shot but at the same time you know you know getting rid of it but this is a real thing I'm just going to bring out this one scripture there's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 Verse 21, the Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he hath consumed thee from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation and with an extreme burning and with a sword and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish.
just like it says, you know, in Deuteronomy 22, 20, it's like you Deuteronomy 28 and 22, and you know, here are the symptoms for this particular, you know, sickness, disease, pestilence, whatever you want to call it. Fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion, or runny nose, nausea, or vomiting, diarrhea, you know. And pretty much this is, you know, the Wuhan virus, but they claim the face of it is, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, the Israelites, you know. They say that we are more susceptible to getting this particular disease, you know. But this is just something that I came across that I thought was pretty interesting and was worthy of sharing, you know, because again, you know what I'm going to bring out this last scripture and I'm going to close it out. Is the book of 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yes, we are not ignorant of Esau Edom's devices. And this is just one of his many devices, these particular diseases that he creates in these labs, patents, and releases to the masses of the people. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Kagwadash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the artists of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully led. To the next time, I say Shalom.